Hi, everybody, and welcome to the No Depression Sessions. We're here at Jan's house in Nashville right now. Thanks to our friends at AEA Microphones with Bronwyn Keith Hines and Christina Vane. It's great to see you both in this context. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, we have um, all of us in this room worked together many times in many different iterations, and it's it's great to see you guys doing doing this. Um, how does this set work? Do you play each other's songs? Do you play songs that you have done together? Or what are we what are we gonna hear? <laughs> well, yeah, you, we have all worked together, and actually, before I even met you guys, and before Bronwyn was in Molly's band, she played with me sometimes in my yeah. little like string band, and so the originals that I'm playing, she's on my album in the studio you can on one of them and we've played them live before and then i'm doing one that she's singing yeah i'm gonna sing a Waylon song for you guys and yeah hell yeah some Waylon. she's way cooler than me <laughs> <laughs> Waylon jennings i mean he's pretty cool <laughs> uh, but i think we're gonna start with my original make myself me again of your artistic arcs are you in right now? I know we were we crossed paths a bunch of times on the road. This summer we've crossed up paths in a bunch of different places a bunch of different times. Are you traveling hard individually respectively? Are you studio writing and what's what's going on with you right now? I'm traveling pretty hard. We've been I've been on the road with Molly Tuttle um, pretty hard all this summer and this fall. We've got a bunch of long tours lined up which I'm excited for and um, I'm also in the middle of um, working on a solo record that I'm putting out the first single for next month, so I'm kind of trying to juggle all that, and, um, and it's, it's a blast. <laughs> I'm also traveling down this lonesome road. <laughs> um, that's a bluegrass song. <laughs> I am traveling also pretty hard, and uh, I 
I front my own act, so it's under my name usually, but I'm lucky enough to be opening for Molly's band in October. And I've had a few other awesome like opening opportunities this summer, so that's mostly what I'm doing. I kind of wanted to take the pressure off. I put out two albums in one year, essentially, and it's really expensive, like no one's paying for it, you know? So uh, there's that, and I just wanted to give myself time to like actually write and not just force everything onto a new album. But that being said, I've recorded like four songs last week. I do have a bunch of new stuff, and I think it's time to get that ball rolling. So in a similar, but like mm-hmm. six months behind Brahmin on that one, where I'm gonna start maybe thinking about putting out a first single maybe next year. Cool. Yeah. Does that, when you're writing those things, you have to take dedicated time to sit down in a room with a pen and a pad to do it? Or do you do stuff on the road in buses, in vans, et cetera? Um, how, does, how did those four songs come together? Buses, I wish. <laughs> um, if, I, if I was on a bus, I might write, actually. I'm driving my van, so it doesn't happen in the van very much. Um, all joking aside, though, I do actually, when I am travel, it's hard to explain, like, I've recently, not recently, but over the years kind of changed from travel touring to like touring for real. And I used to travel tour, aka like camp everywhere and live out, like stay out of my car and have a lot of days off in between. So on those kind of journeys, I would write a lot because I was in inspiring places and I had the downtime. Now I'm really grateful to have more work, but it means that most days we're driving to the next gig and there's just no time to write. And that's partially also why I didn't want to like come home burnt out and then be like I have to force something out creatively just to have a song so I can have an album for what like I just want to take my time and do it right you know so that's kind of where I'm at with it yeah yeah we we did pretty well uh, two weeks ago we, we made sure to spend one full extra day in the Napa Valley and not just fly in work 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 fly mm-hmm. out I mean the work is delightful awesome. as well but makes a big we difference. had one day yeah. just for hiking mm-hmm. hot tubs and wine and wow. it was fantastic oh, yeah that's great yeah. yeah. Uh, we had a seven thousand dollar bottle of wine that what? Tim had like a half of. Yeah. Seven thousand dollars? It was a bottle of something from nineteen ninety three. I can't even remember what. Ninety three. Ninety three. It's not even that old. Yeah. Thirty years, Younger man. Ninety three was a while ago. I know, but there's wine from like nineteen sixty, probably, isn't there? Mm. Vinegar. How Vinegar from nineteen sixty. How much does that cost? Like seven million. <laughs> yeah, I don't know much about wine, in case you didn't know. Well, you guys sound great. I'm really, really happy that we're here together um, doing this session. Um, are we doing? Is are we doing a Bronwyn song second today? Yeah, I'll sing you guys one. Totally. Um, I feel like I've been trying to work on singing more recently. I, I grew up just being a fiddle player and not singing at all. And um, in the last couple of years, I, you know, kind of just developed a strong urge to sing. So I've been been doing that. It's been a lot of fun. Um, so this is one I've been been liking for a while it's from that uh that record with willie nelson and waylon jennings and um yeah it's just a cool one and it's cool to get to play it with uh with the guitar i can get it in two yeah, you're live. a beautiful singer i love Thank the way you, you sing you do have to make sure it's in tune so it doesn't sound terrible though do a disservice to your singing Here's looking for a feeling. One, two, three, four, one.
knows how hard I've tried But there's something always missing Something never satisfied I keep looking for a feeling I won't hide with you Looking for a feeling I have grown accustomed to I've had love and I've had lovers But they never seem to do I keep looking for a feeling That I lost when I lost Looking for a feeling I have grown accustomed to I've had love and I've had lovers But they never seem to do I keep looking for a feeling That I lost when I lost you Keep looking for a feeling that I lost when I lost you. So Willie and Waylon, obviously Waylon. giants of the of the game of music. Um, are there any like bucket list artists that you would love to collaborate with? Because I think last last time we were recording with you and Jerry Douglas, who's an absolute giant. I know that you've had great opportunities to work with some of the giants. Do you have anybody on your wish list that you would really like to be able to collaborate with? You know who's on my wish wish list is um, Sturgill Simpson. Yeah. I just I love his music. It's like. I have it all saved on my phone and it's like what I listen to on every plane and it's just like kind of my go-to stuff and I'm just like really inspired by him on a lot of levels so yeah yeah yep that's a fantastic oh. answer I love I listened to that the 24 the uh, metamodern sounds like oh you yeah know, thousands of times I yeah love that record it's like yeah um Christina what about you oh no <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna do like word association honestly there's too many people but I was on my way here and Danny Barnes was on the radio and I know I should probably say like some epic blues person and yes I would love to collaborate with like Buddy Guy or something but um Danny Barnes is just so cool and I would love to like sit down with him and see what he's all about and that crazy brain of his and you know he's an excellent musician too but with a really interesting as someone who comes from like a rock and indie and like metal and punk background but then like loves roots music i feel like he brings that edge into like the banjo and trad world and i am very fascinated by that so i would love to hear a collaboration I feel oh like my god yeah, I should totally do that. <laughs> he like probably has no idea who i even am but i would love that that would be so cool so i'm putting it out there i guess yeah, yeah. Good question. Well, the opportunity for that now. yeah it's in the universe now and that was a very eloquent lovely answer that was not free association at all i think uh I'm glad I asked. I'm glad I know this information now. I'm glad the internet's about to know this information. If you ever run into any of those guys, you know, you can just... Yeah, there's a non-zero possibility. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Stuff happens. I mean, um, I will. I want to add one person to my answer, though. Because, <laughs> no, because this woman is, like, pretty much responsible for me playing slide guitar, and she's still alive. So if I, if I could ever, like, sit down with Rory Block and play 
guitar and talk about all of you know my heroes and all the amazing music she's made, that would also make my whole life. So Rory Block, you guys should look her up too. Fantastic, Bronwyn. Any any additions to your laundry list? <laughs> oh, uh, there's like a hundred. Yeah, we could keep going. Yeah, <laughs> keep you here all night. Yeah, we'll add them in the comment section later. Okay. <laughs> um, so there is one more song still coming up in this session. What do you want to do third today? So this is a song that Bronwyn's on, uh, recorded at the studio. It's literally called the studio in Nashville. Um, and yeah, it's it's called River Roll. It's an original. This has been a wonderful way to start our Wednesday. Um, thanks for doing this. And we'll just thanks keep on crossing us. paths with you yeah. every couple months until we're, you, you know, 70 me. or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Thank man. You. Every every six months or so, we'll make yep. sure to, can I swear on here, shoot the shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please, man. This has been a ton of fun. We'll yeah. see, uh, see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you.